hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to search records from drop down list control and display records into data list control and here we got the output I'm selecting the category mobiles and see here we got the mobile mobiles have only one record Let's check the TV. I got the TV catalog. Laptops. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to bind column into a drop down list control with no duplicate records. If you missed the part one video, at the end of this video tutorial you will get that video link now in this video i will show you using the drop down list how to search the records and display into a data list control let's open my visual studio asp.net page and this is a code we have just seen on the browser i have binded the drop down list control using sql data source now after the sql data source i am adding data list control go to toolbox expanding the data folder data list control now in this data list control I'm adding properties repeat column 3 the repeat layout which is a table and cell padding 3 cell spacing 3 before adding the list item into this data list control it switch to the design mode double click the data bond selected index change event as created for the drop down list control and first thing in this code behind I'm adding namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration using system dot data dot SQL client after adding these three namespaces now in the drop down list selected index changed event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings here string str the connection string I have already added in the web.config file go to solution explorer open the web.config file and sample db connection string 2 I'm copying that one and I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of the main con string SQL query now I'm writing the query to retrieve the records from the table let's visit my SQL server database we'll check the table and the column names I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases folder. Sample GB is my user database. I'm expanding that one as well as the tables folder. The product catalog, I'm using the table for this demo purpose. Let's browse the table, right click that one. Select top thousand rows. And we got the results of this product catalog table contains uh, contains five records and six columns and product catalog is already binded in the drop down list control now I want to display when a user choose the TV from the drop down list control I want to display Samsung and Sony if the user wants to search for the laptops only the laptops will be displayed Apple and Dell let's switch over to the coding part 
will finish the rest of the code double quotes select start from the table name is dbo.product catalog copy that one and pasting here where the column name is a product catalog which is this one is equals to at product catalog SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query command statement SQL query and the second parameter is the SQL connection which, which is this object pressing here SQL con dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value which takes two parameters one is the string parameter name and the second one is the object the string parameter name is product catalog just copy this one and paste here comma here the object we are getting from the drop down list control so I'm adding the drop down list one which is the ID of the drop down list control selector item dot text dot to string method SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL command dot execute reader if SDR dot has rows if the records are found the selected category from the drop down list I want to bind the data into the data list control data list one dot data source is equals to SDR I'm binding the data data bind method the last one I'm closing the connection string close method that's it we have done the coding part now the left or is we need to add the item list in the data list control let's switch to the source code inside the data list item template in this item template I'm creating a table tr td product name eval the string expression is the product name this one copy this paste 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 the second one is the product description and the third one is the price and the fourth one the last one I want to display the image product image I'm deleting the eval tag I'm adding the image control go to toolbox image control now in this image control I'm adding the property image URL is equals to I'm deleting the double quotes I'm adding single quotes here because the eval expression is a string if you add the double quotes here we'll get an error so first single quotes 
percentage hash eval the string expression is a column name which is this one product image I'm adding the height and width height is equals to 100 pixels and width 120 pixels that's it we have done everything in the data list control but the main important we are getting the records from the drop down list control so we need to add the auto post back property to true that's it let's check the output on the google chrome google chrome and here we got the output I'm selecting the category mobiles and see here we got the mobile mobiles have only one record let's check the TV I got the TV catalog laptops that's it